Next is a planar graph. A graph is called planar if G can be drawn in the plane with its edges intersecting only at the vertices of G. So such a drawing of G is called as a embedding of G in the plane. Suppose you have this K4. Now this K4 I have an edge only at the vertices of G. So here I am not supposed to write this. So if you write that it's overlapping. So next is your K5. So where you can use this applications uh, whether it is planar or not is in the VLSI routing, plumbing etc. So now if you go for trying to write your K5 in a plane it's not going to happen. So K5 is a non-planar graph. Next among the bipartite graph if you see K11, K12, K13, K22, K24 all are uh, bipartite graphs but uh, bipartite graph but they are also planar graph but k33 is not planar it means i cannot draw this graph by writing the edges only at the uh, vertices so k uh, any graph which contains k5 or k33 or k44 are non planar graphs This is your Peterson graph, which is K5. K5 uh, this is K3 regular graph, Peterson graph. So it has uh, K33, so it is not a non -pla it's uh, not a planar graph. Peterson graph is a non planar graph. Now between uh, inside uh, for a planar graph, so the regions are phases. So a planar graph divides the plane into several regions or phases. One of them is the is the infinite region, or we also call it as an unbounded region. So suppose you have this graph, which is uh, uh, k one two three. This is your cycle of four. This is your uh, degree three degree 3 degree 3 degree 3 so it is k4 k4 is a complete graph with four vertices so now in this you can observe this is the region r1 this is the region r2 this is the region r3 this is the region r4 r4 is your uh, r4 is your region which is a infinite region or unbounded region so the number of edges which are bounding this region is called as the degree of that region so here number of vertices v is equal to 4 number of edges e is equal to 6 and number of regions is equal to 4 so it satisfies v minus e plus r is equal to 2 or you can also say that r is equal to uh, e minus v plus 2 so if you transfer these two on the right hand side so r will be equal to e minus v plus 2 this we call it as a Euler statement your theorem your statement so for any connected uh, planar graph or a multi planar graph the number of vertices minus the number of edges plus the number of regions is equal to 2 so proof you can see it to complete uh, the degree of a region is the number of edges traversed in the shortest closed walk about the boundary of R. So, suppose you have this region. So, what is the degree of this region R2 is 1, 2, 3. So, next is this is the R1, R1. It is bounded by 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So, degree of R1 is 5. Degree of R3 is 3. And when you have a pendant vertex, so this edge, the degree of this region when you are counting so it is uh, 1 2 3 4 5 and uh, this you have to count it as two times the pendant edge you have to count the by degree finding of the region you have to count it as two so it will be degree of r4 is 5 again the degrees of sum of degrees of regions is equal to two times the number of edges so again if you see when you are counting the degree of this region r7 so it is 1, 2, 3 plus 2, which is 5. So R7 is 5. 
and whenever you have the planar graph for planar graph uh, 3r should be less than or equal to 2e and e should be less than or equal to 3v minus 6. So, these are the conditions to be satisfied by a planar graph. Now, if you are proving that uh, it, any graph is non planar, so then you have to show that any of these two conditions are not satisfied. Now, how do we prove this for K5 and K33 is here. So, for K5, so this uh, will not be satisfied. Whereas for K33, each region has at least four edges. Therefore, 4R should be less than or equal to 2E. So, if K33 is planar, then R has to be equal to 5. So, 20 is to be uh, 20 is equal to 4 or less than or equal to e which is uh, equal to 18 which is a contradiction. Therefore, it is not going to be a planar graph. So, we will stop here on one more topic that is dual of a planar graph. So, dual of a planar graph uh, is nothing but given a graph you have to identify the regions and for each of the region I represent a vertex in the dual graph and for each uh, edges uh, uh, for each uh, edge which is uh, having uh, two different uh, adjacent regions I draw an edge. Suppose you have the number of vertices in the dual graph will be equal to the number of regions in the given graph. So, here you have six regions. So, there will be six vertices in the uh, dual graph. Now, for uh, inside that is uh, this edge has a Mm, region 2 and 5. So, there will be an edge between 2 and 5. Then between this edge and this edge 2, 3 that is 2, 3 you have and between these two that is 2, 4 you have and then is uh, this edge which is 4 and 5 I have an edge and uh, 5 with this region 6 I have an edge and 5 with this region I have an edge. So, two edges here then this edge in the 6 itself. So, which is a self loop here then this is a region 1 which is uh, covered by the uh, it is uh, neighboring to the region 6 so 1 and 6 there is an edge so then uh, other this is a uh, 3 to 6 there is an edge 1 this is 2 to 6 all like that you draw the dual graph it is possible to have an isomorphic graph with the respective duals which are not isomorphic so we will stop here Thank you.